Hello. In this video I showed you how to pass levels 1 to 4 and 1 to 5 of the first mission of the galactic journey, Planet Earth in the Tello Edu application. We are ready to begin. Let's study the route. Let's put a top view. Here we need to activate 4 landing pads. It is quite a long way and we will have to use many codes. Let's see what happens a little quickly. Because here we will most likely have to find a little trick to get an excellent result. For the moment, let's try a, shall we say, classic route. We select and drag takeoff. Let's move to the right by one. Let's move forward one. Shall we go down? Indeed not. We can directly activate the landing pad. We have to touch it, so we have to go down a one. At this point, we have to take off again. We need to advance two to reach this other landing pad. Let's go fast because it's a bit long here, but it's very simple. We have therefore arrived above. We have to go down by one again. Again, after activating the landing pad, we can take off. Now we can choose different paths. We can go backwards or forwards, or we can go left too. Back one. We can go down again, down. And we have also activated this third landing path. Now again we go forward two to reach the last landing pad. Forward. Two. As you can see the string gets longer and longer. We go down, down, by one again we have to take off, take off. We must and go right and then take us to the center. So, right, one. And at this point we go one step further. Forward, one. It was a pretty simple string, like, programming wise, but a long one. It takes enough time to have to fit all of our blocks. Let's go and see if we did well or if we haven't forgotten something along the way. I remind you that by clicking here on this icon we can speed up the display of the preview. Let's see what happens. We have activated the portal. We did it in 17 moves. As you see, we have only achieved 2 stars. We can improve on this. That was what I was telling you about earlier. Because the point of this game and programming is to save time. We have to save, how to say, the movement of the fingers that have to tap on the keyboard. Therefore, the programmer must try to write as few strings as possible, enter as few codes, as few blocks as possible. How can we do in this case? Sorry I went to the next level. To return to the previous level. We leave here, back to level menu. We go to level 1-4 again. Here we are. Now I'll give you an input because in this exercise I want to try to reason together. But first I want you to try it yourself. And then I will eventually give you the solution. How is it possible to save time? and therefore write fewer blocks in our programming string. In short, if we try all the possibilities, we will never reach the maximum score. Whichever path you take, however, it will be similar, either to the right or to the left, down. Try to see if you can spare a few boxes and some string of programming code. If we go to C in, control, I'll already give you a little help. Here, we have several blocks that provide us with, how to say, conditions or indications to be able to activate certain functions. Or, for example, here, you can repeat a command 10 times. Repeat. 10 times. In this way you can provide additional information to facilitate the work and save time. I'll already give you a little hint, we'll have to use the repeater. I put it here. Now, if you want, you can pause, think for a moment about the path and which moves you could repeat. 
After that I will give you my solution. There can be many solutions. Maybe you will even find a better one. Okay. Pause. Try to think about how to use the repeater that allows you to repeat some moves and then I will give you the solution. Before starting, I'll show you a slight example to see what happens when you repeat a move. Let's go to takeoff. So, for example, repeat twice. I want to repeat this movement. So, I want to go up. Then I want to move on. Then I want to go down. Okay, we'll miss the mission, but what does the drone do? It will go up, then forward, then down, twice. Let's insert three, so it will be more evident. The drone takes off, go up, forward, it goes down, first time, and more on, up, forward, down, second time on, up, forward, down, third time, so basically, Thanks to the repeater we didn't have to write all these codes three times, up, forward, down, etc. and, more complex, even ten times no. Only once, therefore, have we saved time and codes. Now we can throw this. I'll give you some time, five minutes, ten minutes to try and finalize this route with a few codes, using the repeater. I don't know if you were able to solve this mission, but it's time to give you the solution. I'll load it without wasting time and I'll explain it to you. I uploaded it here. Let's take level 1-4. We select and open. Okay. Here is my code with the repeater. If you succeeded, perhaps I would have done the same as me or you have found a different path. Here I took off and went one box to the left. Because, because here then I said to the program. Let's go one step further. Then go right to, go down and activate the landing pad. Now take off. Next. Go forward one. Then go left 2. Go down 1 to activate the landing pad. Take off. At this point the scheme is the same for these other two landing pads, so from here we repeat the route. Here we took off. Let's start here for the second time. Then, move forward 1. Shift right by 2. Get off. Take off. Go forward 1. Then go left 2. Get off. Takes off. At this point our cycle ends to resume the mission. So, right, and then forward by one. In this way we have saved two, four, six, eight blocks. Let's go see the result. Now our cycle begins. Here it is. Once we take off, we start over. Perfect. As you see, we got full marks because we saved codes and time. Now let's go to the last level. The fifth level. Let's go study the route. It is the same situation as before. As you can see it is specular. So surely we will have to repeat some movements. Based on the notions you have acquired so far, take another break to understand how to carry out this mission always using the repeater. Also in this case I'll give you a little help. It will be twice. I'll see you soon. Well well found. I hope you found the solution. If it didn't, 
Let's upload my solution here. We go to level 5, open. Okay here is my code I used the repeater twice. Let's read briefly. Take off. The drone is already aiming at the target, so we bring the drone to the right by one. I've brought myself to a position where I already know that from here I'll have to repeat this path, because from here to here it's specular. From here I went two forward, then right by two, then back two, then down one, and finally, I took off. At this point it repeats, so, forward two, to the right of two, back two, below, take off, here the cycle ends, the first cycle, now let's move on, let's bring the drone forward to here, because another cycle will start from here, let's read, forward two, down one, take off, back two, to the left of two, from here we start again, then, forward two, down one, take off, back two, to the left of two, and here the cycle ends. Our repetition. We need to take the code out of the repeat block. We insert to the left by one, and forward two. Let's go see if we did well. Here we are already in the first cycle and now we start repeating. Once the cycle is over, go two forward. The second cycle begins. Once the cycle is over, we pick up the blocks again. We made 17 moves out of 21, which was the minimum to achieve maximum marks. We did good. As you can see through the codes we managed to save time and, like, the string doesn't stretch too much. We have more space to write code. And it is precisely the mindset that we must acquire when we work with the programming language. Thanks for your attention and I'll wait for you at the next block.